Welcome back to the Mechanics of Solids lecture series. In the series we're working examples on thermal strains and misfits. This is part 2A of a multi-part series. This is basically an addition to part 2. And in part 2, parts 1 and 2, we solved the problem shown to completion. Uh, go back and watch it if you haven't seen it already. Um, as you watched that solution, we solved the system of equations in F1 and F2 by substitution and manipulation of the equations. And while the solution that we demonstrated worked out okay, it was messy, and it's very easy to make a mistake, and it's very easy to get into uh, yeah, just a endless math. So um, this is, on the other hand, an example that's very conducive to solving by matrix system of equations approach. We'll demonstrate that here real quickly just for the solution of F1 and F2 as a suitable alternative. So starting with the equilibrium and compatibility equation, let's rewrite these in the form that we want for the matrix solution. The first one, F1 plus F2 equals 25 kips, both the unknowns on the left-hand side, constants on the right-hand side. The second equation we would write as uh, bringing both F1 and F2 to the left-hand side, F1 over A1, E1, minus F2 over A2, E2, equals alpha 2 minus alpha 1 times delta T. So we can work with these two equations. Set up our matrix system of equations, make a 2 by 2 matrix, a vector of unknowns, F1 and F2, and the right-hand side, okay? Going and substituting in for the first equation, we have 1 times F1 plus 1 times F2 equals 25 kips. The second equation, we have 1 over A1, E1 times F1 minus a 1 over A2, E2 times F2 equals alpha 2 minus alpha 1 times delta t. Now I'll go ahead and repeat this down here, substituting the numbers. 1, 1, 1 over a1, 10 inches squared, times e1, 29,000 ksi. Note these units are reduced to 1 over kips. The second term, negative 1 over 17.5 inches squared times 10,000 KSI, also 1 over kips, times F1, F2, equals 25 kips, and the bottom one, uh, term alpha 2 minus alpha 1 is going to be 13 minus 6.5 E negative 6 per degree Fahrenheit times 58 degrees Fahrenheit. So this number is unitless. Okay, and that means both our forces, when we solve for the forces, are going to be in units of kips to match the units. Again, if you're doing this approach, you get to this point, you plug the numbers into your a numerical system of equations solver, whatever program you're using, and it should produce the answer for you, which we saw in the previous video was F1 equal to 56.7 kips, tells you its tension, F2 equals negative 31.7 kips that tells you its compression, and you would proceed with the rest of the problem as before. That concludes this example.